Hey guys, it's Val. Welcome back to Hollow Cocoon. This is part two of our playthrough. So we were in the storage shed and secret. we just found a secret passageway. So yeah, let's see where it goes. The red talisman is a protective charm used in the region from ancient times. It is made by dyeing paper with a crimson color believed to repel demons and drawing symbolic characters in black ink. The exact meaning of the symbols is unknown. It is speculated that they represent the sun deity, as sunlight is believed to purify their negative energies. According to the village legend, when a demon approaches the talisman, it immediately emits a radiant light, torturing the demon as it is exercised. <laughs> Hmm. So if that thing's chasing me, can I just go to a talisman? Would that save me? Okay, so that's that's our way back. I don't know. Died November thirteenth, nineteen thirty. Okay. I think I'm gonna be testing that talisman theory soon. Look at this bitch right there. Is this your house, ma'am? Miyama family tree. Okay, so I am. Oh, Ayano is our grandmother's older sister. Let's see. Can I take this with me? Okay, so there's two floors. Okay, so I'm in the Eastern Tatami room. There is a well in the next room. Miyama Yashiki. Koko wa Miyama ke no kyutaku ka. An ignition tool used by hitting with a hammer and stone. Okay, open map. Oh, okay, cool. So I get to keep the map. That's nice. More medicine. Just gotta explore every nook and cranny. I've been fortunate enough to have been accepted as the son-in-law of the Miyama family. My father and brother had always looked down on me, considering me weak and spineless. However, in the eyes of Lord Kube, I am a loyal, trustworthy man. We have exchanged vows and I eagerly await the joyful ceremony next spring. Ever since I laid my eyes on her, Ayano's figure has been etched in my mind, her skin lightly glowing and her sleek, shiny black hair. She often averts her gaze, but even the shadow cast by her long Long eyelashes on her cheeks are beautiful. I wanted to get Ayano's attention by any means necessary, so I decided to show her my collection of butterfly samples. I hoped that the colorful butterflies would bring her joy. Ayano said, I've never seen such beautiful butterflies before, but her expression was that of melancholy. When I asked her if she disliked the butterflies, she replied, I like butterflies, however, I don't like seeing them trapped and confined. I just want to watch them fly in their natural state. Her words struck me to my core. Wait. So, so he actually, our grandpa was in love with his current wife's sister. So why did she, why did he end up with her? Okay, we're going to be using this a lot because I'm just curious. Yeah, I guess let's go this way. Oh my god. What the fuck? I haven't even found a place to hide yet, bitch. I'm taking you to the talisman. Come here. It works. It did work. The save point talisman can repel evil spirits and repel enemies who get close. However, each time that talisman 
repels an enemy. It consumes magic. When the magic is depleted, this talisman's color fades and it loses its effect. You can still save at the, the faded talisman, but the number of times a talisman can repel an enemy depends on the difficulty. No fucking way it's already done. Damn! It's already done! <laughs> Just one time? Gotta go back to creeping. I have not seen a place to hide yet. Here, maybe? Ah, uh, okay. Well, we know they're... Oh my god. Can I close that now? Jesus. Okay, so there's a well in here. Something's floating on the murky water. Yeah, a flint. Cannot use that. I need to find, I guess, rope and a bucket? I don't know. That doesn't show. Let's just open it and see. Oh. A giant door with two locks. Okay, so maybe that's like where we go at the end. Oh, I shouldn't run, huh? Um, okay, that's a hiding place. Winnie? Dear Mom, it has been several months since Dad passed away. Not a day goes by without a box of tissues by my side. When I came to offer my condolences, I couldn't come to term with Dad's death. I couldn't even speak with you, Mom. Why didn't you tell us right away? You didn't even invite our family to the funeral. If we hadn't reached out, you wouldn't have bothered to tell us at all. Dad was an important role model for me. I wanted to give him a final farewell. I was weak and always hid behind Dad. I was scared to talk to you, Mom. I feared you'd say I hate you, but now that Dad is gone, I can't go on like this anymore. I need to speak with you in person. There's something I must ask you. On September 21st, I will come alone without telling IG or Minato. I don't expect a response to this letter. I've written to you many times before and you've never replied. I've been waiting a long time now. See you on September 21st. That's the day she died too? Okay. So her mom must have told her something she didn't like. We need a crowbar. Okay. Can I just take some medicine? Just to get the blood splatters off of my camera. Something stuck on the other side of it. Okay. So it looks like we can use the crowbar for two places. So now we're on the second floor. The door won't open. Okay, another place for a crowbar. God dang it. Oh, an old board. Oh my god. Can I use it here to like wedge it open? Yeah. But I still need a crowbar for that other one, I think. Mm, can I head in there? No. 
August 19th, 1929. So this is our grandmother's journal. I was chatting with Sai Chi, waiting for my sister to get ready. He gave me a pearl hairpin saying I would match with my sister in her hairpin. I heard neither you nor Ayano had ever laid eyes on the sea, he said. I thought the two of you would appreciate something from there. Considering how close the two of you are, I would be delighted if you would wear them together. As he handed me the hairpin, my face instantly flushed. I wondered if he could hear my heart racing and if my excitement was too obvious. I had to hide my face. It was the first time a man other than my father had given me a gift. Unlike my stern father, his voice was gentle and soft. I wished to have that voice by my side forever. And then he whispered into my ears, Isn't Ayano like a butterfly? With that, the blush from my cheeks was extinguished. The pounding in my chest subsided as if my very pulse had stopped. He tenderly caressed the other hairpin intended for my sister, reminding me of whom his heart belonged to. Indeed, my sister Ayano is like a butterfly. She loathes being carried away by the wind and drenched by the rain. Touching her delicate wings would only result in pain. Ayano is beautiful, delicate, and fragile. I could crush her with my bare hands. For now, I am still the only one who can be with her. I am the only one who can place my hand upon that slender white neck. I am the only one. Dang, Grandma! Uh, okay, let's see. Um, so... Does that mean there's all this extra stuff? No, right? Oh, so this is the silkworm room. Okay. I want to turn this off. Can I use the holes in the floor are covered with boards? I can see the room below through the gaps with the planks. There's something on the desk. Okay. That that's cool. More medicine. Okay, so that's the silkworm room. There's nothing in there. Butterfly. Okay, butterfly key. <laughs> Damn it. Stuck in solid grease. Oh, I I had a plank on me. I can't use that. Okay, so that's Ayano. <laughs> this is a hiding spot. As shitty as it is, that is a hiding spot. Fucking god, she's moving. So you're like my... My great aunt, right? Because you're my... Grandma's sister? No, you don't. No you, no you don't. No no you don't. Oh shit! I don't know where a hiding spot is. Damn it. Oh I'm running out of stamina. Was it in here? No. Oh, it's a dead end. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh. Just kill me, bitch. <laughs> okay, I can't see a damn thing. We're family. God, I tried to close it in our fucking face. So, I don't know where it last left off. 
Oh, okay. So it looks like it, like, right here. Um... God damn it. Did I lose her? Let's save. Fuck. Yes. Okay. What the fuck is that? Oh, it was just blocking the door. I was like, why? Why did it do that? Oh. It was just blocked off. That was that door that was blocked off. So, that one, same thing. Mm -hmm. So we're needing some keys, a crowbar, and firewood. My gosh, I'm gonna get lost in this place. What's up there? Shrine, just out of reach. That's a hiding place. Let's see, can we look at our map while we're heading? Yeah. Crowbar closet? <laughs> Had no idea there was such a thing. Or is that the area that I need the crowbar for? <laughs> we definitely need to go over on the other side. Oh man, I'm gonna die a lot here. I'm definitely gonna die a lot. Dang it. Oh dear, oh dear, what should I do? I've gone and lost the key. I had it with me before I went to the toilets, but somehow I managed to lose it. If anyone finds out, I'll be doomed. Lord Kyobe will show no mercy. A lost key. Is it the butterfly key, perhaps? Sounds like she's like all fucking around me. I can't even... Oh! Okay, uh... How did you do that? Oh, I found firewood! And a journal, no! When I visited the Miyama family and caught a glimpse of Ayano and Kinu walking together in the front yard, Ayano had an innocent girlish smile on her face as she talked to Kinu, but as soon as she noticed me, her smile disappeared. I had a faint suspicion all along who she has eyes for, whose side she wishes to be by, and it's not me. Jesus Christ, don't body block me, come on. Can I, can I get out? Okay. She's like always around me. It's a dead end, bitch. Don't come down here. Okay, so I got firewood. There's not enough hiding places. My gosh. So I need to go back. This way, I think. She's coming too, and I'm freaking. I thought it was Greece. Maybe it's not. 
A crowbar key, an old iron key. It has a tag with the crest of a crowbar. Oh, so this is what I... My fucking god. Are you okay, Ayano? Come downstairs. Oh, it's gonna be like literally to the left. And of course, that's where the bitch is. Motherfucker. Are you gonna open doors? Oh my god. Oh, that's not the right one. I thought it was that one. Yes, this is one. Can you get me in a locked room? No, no. <laughs> Did she jump on my face? Okay, so. I started here. I have the, the crowbar key still. These fucking stealth games, man. And she just stopped circling me. If this was real, she'd be looking all over the place, not just where I am. My god. Alright, I think this bitch walked away again. She is just fucking obsessed. Why are you so obsessed with me? Is this the crowbar one? Yes. Okay. Mr. Kyobe, during our business negotiations, the plate that I had a look at was remarkable. At first glance, it may appear somewhat uninspiring to the eyes of a novice like myself, but I never dreamed that it would have such an intricate mechanism. Only when immersed in cold, clear water does the beauty of the artwork reveal itself, and I am truly impressed. I hope to have the opportunity to see it again in the future. So I'm assuming this plate we're going to put in the well, right? Oh, to pull out nails. That's the floor. I need to go back upstairs, but you know, I really don't um, understand where I am. I spent so much uh, trying to remember the first house, their like current house they were in, that I none of this sunk in over here. Still hasn't sunk in. Okay, yeah, this is what I need to go upstairs. Right? This goes to the little attic. Okay, definitely haven't been here. Have I? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Wasn't it here? Am I crazy? Let's save. Yeah. I think it's up these stairs. Now, does she have to come all the way back over here or does she like auto spawn poof in places? <laughs> Cause that's not cool. Here we go. Yes. Oh, peony key. I needed that for a closet. I started being mean to Ayano. I intentionally avoid talking to her and am being unfriendly towards her. I love Saichi too much to not do this. No matter what I do, she never asks me why. Instead, on the verge of tears, she says, I'm sorry, Kinu, please forgive me, even though she has nothing to apologize for. Today is an autumn dusk. My sister and I ventured into the mountains from the path to the shrine to admire the colorful autumn foliage. I held my sister's hand tightly. She smiled with joy and squeezed my hand in return. She didn't 
didn't hold my recent behavior against me. She has always been kind to me. Ever since we were children, we would sneak out during autumn. Together, we would watch the leaves turn crimson and the sunset paint the sky. As the chilly winds of the late autumn blew, I could feel the warmth of our joined hands. But this will probably be the last time. Next spring, my sister will marry Saichi while I will be married off to someone else. Kinu, the maple trees are beautiful. Let's do this again next year. My sister says this with innocent eyes. She torments me, unaware of the turmoil in my heart. The sister who has always been with me is slipping away. I couldn't put into words the horrific things I felt. Finally, I unleashed my frustration and revealed everything to her. I will never go again. Why don't you go with Saichi instead? You don't need me anymore after all. I said those words, forcefully releasing her hand and walked away. I turned my back on her and kept walking, not wanting her to see the tears streaming down my face. From behind me, a faint voice whispered don't leave me. Pretending not to hear, I continued walking down the mountain alone. At that moment, I wondered if my sister Ayano was also shedding tears. All this over a man. Oh my god. This bitch should not just... the fuck? Fucking relentless, ain't she? Okay. That hiding spot really didn't fucking work out for me. What is the point of going down here? Okay, let's get in here. One eternity later. Okay, so I need to find where this damn key goes. There's a lot. Please be this one. Oh, it was this one. There's another one, too. Oh, it was it behind me. On that day, I left my sister Ayano behind and descended the mountain alone. I was certain she would follow me. I anticipated her tearful apology as she had done countless times before, but Ayano never returned. Why did I let go of her hand? If only we had gone down the mountain together, hand in hand, Ayano would still be by my side. I lost her due to my shallow jealousy. I've cried and lived in sorrow for days, and now I've run out of tears. I heard someone calling my name on a snowy night, so I looked outside. To my surprise, Ayano was standing in front of the gate. She had been wandering the mountains for a month, yet her kimono, sandals, and her hair remained pristine and spotless. However, she has lost her ability to speak. I embraced her tightly, clutching her hand as tears streamed down my face. Ayano's hand was warm, the warmth I had once let slip away. I will never let it go again. Okay, and so didn't I need to go to the toilet? Because there was a key. I think it's probably the butterfly key. Okay, so if I go diagonal in the courtyard, can I cut, can I cut through the grass? Yes. Have I been in here yet? 
So I don't think we want to go this way yet. Let's let's go ahead and stay focused. Now she lost it on her way to the toilets. Oh, a safe spot. Yes. An oil can. More coins. Let's let's save again. Yeah. Okay. So maybe it's on the floor. They dropped the key here. Yeah, let's check. <laughs> yeah, with everything else and reaching in there, I bet it is the worst day of your life. Okay, the counting rods key. Okay. Yeah, wasn't that like a a closet or something yeah so we need to go back to the courtyard go diagonal in there okay this should be just about time for our yeah. I knew it when you make progress that's when she spawns You don't want to come in this room, bitch, because you'll get exercised. Okay, I think she left. This is the courtyard, yeah. Oh, she's over there. I just saw her. Spooky. Where am I now? Oh. A spade used for digging. Yeah, well, I definitely don't think it's gonna let us walk out the front door. Gosh, the the behind the door trick always works. Why? Why does that always work? Oh my gosh. Oh, I guess I could have hid behind the screen. Bitch, I need to get over there. Where is she? she go in there? This is where I need to be. Yes. Okay. Wish I could close this behind me. Oh, I can. 
It has been nearly 20 years since I left here with baby Yui in my arms. Yui has gotten married and I have returned to the Miyama family. I announced my return and they neither rejected nor welcomed me. Kiana responded with a simple, I see. Surely Kino must have resented me even if I had abandoned her for Yui's sake. So Yui is my mom. So he left with the baby and then she got married and that's when he returned back. I grappled with the guilt even while living in town. I never forgot them, the sisters. I had resolved to return one day, and even at this moment, I am still thinking of Ayano. Shimamaru committed suicide and I left the village, leaving no one in the Miyama family. Kino has been Ayano's sole caretaker. She looks after Ayano every day. Although I have returned to the household, I cannot approach Ayano, let alone touch her. I can only observe them from outside the cell. Even in her state, Ayano is always thinking about Kino. This is my biggest regret. Do I still envy Kino even now? In my youth, I gazed upon Ayano and yearned to caress her fair skin and her silky hair. Yet in the end, I could not even touch her fingertips. Even so, I simply cannot give up. My desire to see Ayano again consumes me. Yui bears a striking resemblance to Ayano, however, she is not the same person as Ayano. In the journal of my father-in-law, Kyobe, which was discovered within the mansion, he talks about a cocoon. Had he found a way to bring her back? If the words written here tell the truth, then I will reclaim Ayano by any means necessary. A cocoon that brought her back. Okay. What? Okay, so I have a ladder. Oh, is it to get that thing? Um, fuck, where was that? That like, it was like right above a shrine, I think. Okay, let's save, yeah. Did it save it? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. That just means you're evil. 